Now, we're going to move over to the other milling machine for the second operation. This one has a magnet it's called a magnetic chuck instead of a vise. This is a magnet that you can turn on and off with this lever. Very important, get it really Okay, and the nesting fixture also. If you don't have it clean, your parts won't sit flat and they will not, the, the top and the bottom face won't be parallel. Okay, you want to loosen the nuts on the nesting fixture and pull it apart. Okay. Now, machine face down, the magnet won't do a very good job of holding the rough cast surface. So you put the machine face down, both parts, make sure they're nice and clean. And then put some downward pressure with your fingers and then wiggle this all around and pull the nests in so they're as tight as they can get around the part. Then turn the magnet on. Okay, that'll hold everything in place. Then come back and just, just snug the nuts. And we use this little short wrench so you don't break the nuts off. Okay, now we're going to bring the cutter over. And I know the, the large paw is slightly thicker, so I'll touch off on that one. You don't have to worry about the cutter direction changing on this machine. It doesn't have high and low range. And the switch actually has on it forward and reverse. So you want to go forward. Now, when you turn the switch on, if the machine doesn't start, there's a motor starter on the back. Push the start button. Now, when I turn it on, it will run. So now I'm going to come up and touch off just like before, carefully. Move off. And this over here, you can cut both parts from either direction. Okay. Zero the dial. Now, this one doesn't have a little metal pointer, it's that little line that lines up with the chip and the paint. Really doesn't matter what you use as long as you use the same thing every time. Then, since we're using a magnet here, we don't have as much holding power as we do in a vise, so we're only going to cut 20 thousandths depth per pass. So 10, 20. Turn the handle around. Machine across. Slowly.
I'm going to have to make one, at least one more pass. So I'll wrap it off the part, and then we're going to take a measurement. Don't take the parts off the magnet. Okay? You're going to clean it. And now we've got a depth micrometer we can use so that we don't have to take the parts off. So again, make sure the micrometer is just Now, what you have to be careful of with the depth micrometer is it reads the opposite of the outside micrometer. The outside micrometer, when you spin the thimble clockwise, it gets closer to the, the spindle gets closer to the anvil, so it's a smaller and smaller number. This one, when you spin it clockwise, you're measuring a larger and larger depth, so the numbers get big, bigger, so they're backwards from the other one. So you get used to measuring with an outside micrometer, and this one will sort of throw you because it's backwards. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the frame of the micrometer on the part and hold that down firmly with your fingers. Then gently spin the thimble until the, <clears throat> the spindle comes down and touches the magnet. And you, what you don't want to do is don't just keep turning and let the frame lift off the part. You'll get a bad reading. So push down firmly and gently, touch, gently twitch it, twist it <laughs> till it touches. And what I do is I'll do it three or four times and make sure I'm getting the same reading every time. Okay, now we'll read it. Okay, we're at about 22 on the thimble. So if I rotate this a little bit clockwise to the zero comes around, that would be 0.4. But counterclockwise gets smaller, so I if I back up one full turn, that's 25 thousandths less, that'd be 0.375. So if you want, you can start from a smaller number, 375, 380, 0 0.385, 0 0.390, 395, 96, 97. That's where we were. So we're at 0.397. We're going for final thickness now on this operation, which is 0.375. So 0.397 minus 20 would be 377. That'll give us a little bit on our last pass to take off. So I'll go another 20. 10, 20. And we'll make another pass. Then we should have another pass of about two or three thousandths to make. So again, I'll feed all the way off. 